tragedy truly heart-wrenching for this community as they laid to rest today that baby boy. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett continues our coverage in Williamsburg. N.J. And Dave, the child was buried late this afternoon in the upstate ultra-Orthodox enclave of Kiryas Yol. He survived barely 24 hours. The cruelty seems relentless, and neighbors here are still struggling to come to terms with it. I saw there was a car and I was across the street. Pessy Gelb is still shaking tonight. She saw Razy and Nathan Glover climb into the livery car minutes before the crash. I mean, a person goes in to a car service and the next minute you don't even know if you're going to survive. Yeah. This is like unaccepted. The crash killed the young couple and within 24 hours, their premature infant son. Razy's brother told us it's incomprehensible. Whoever did not go through this can't even contemplate what this is to lose a sister and her husband and more at once so suddenly. Their families are well known in Brooklyn's ultra-Orthodox Sutmar community, where word of the crash has left people badly shaken. It's very, very, very hard. Everybody's broken. Everybody's broken for peace in our community if it were happen. Their fundamentalist beliefs teach Sotmars that tragedies are the will of God. Difficult or impossible to understand, but something they must accept. It's people who believe in God, believe in Torah, and believe in something. It helps them go through the worst tragedy. God created this world. This was his will. This was what he wanted. This is what he did, and we accept his decree. The parents were buried late yesterday, and now the family begins the seven-day period of mourning known in Judaism as Shiva. On tonight, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and Jay Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, NJ. We're following developing news.